So I'm gonna try building my first ever, I guess, guitar. It's a bass. I don't know how to play a bass. I play the guitar and the uke. But we'll see how that turns out. And um, I don't really know how this is gonna go because I haven't really worked with wood or soldering. I did well. I know that's not the same, but I guess we'll see. Any mistakes I make, I'll learn from, so let's have a look. It came in a box like this, and all the parts are separated, of course. Here's the pickup cover, the pickups, this is the bridge, the strings, the body, the neck, which of course isn't put together, and all the other parts are here. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take, and I don't know if it's going to work, but here we go! Before I finalize the base itself, I wanted to try and do a test build to make sure everything fit together. And the PDF file of instructions wasn't very detailed, so I had to sit and really try to understand it. And I eventually just started trying to build things. And it took forever to find where my dad's drill and drill bits were, so I hand screwed everything at first. But I eventually found it, and the base, um, it comes with a bunch of pilot holes already there, but I do have to go in and make them a little bit deeper. None of the parts were pre-labeled, but they were pretty intuitive, I mean based on the however many screws there were, and how many holes there were in certain places. Um, I didn't know what a ferrule insert before this project was, but now I do, <laughs> and it was a struggle to get that in, but I got them in, and for the first round of test load, I just put in two screws each. Now, for the neck, I was concerned about how I would be able to stabilize it, but thankfully I found a C-clamp. And it was kind of a struggle making sure that everything was aligned and I couldn't actually screw in all the screws. I had to back out that last one, but it was fine. I forgot to film putting in the pickups, but this is the completed test build. After that, I took everything apart and my original plan was to hand paint with acrylic paint after I spray painted the body, but I did a test piece on some scrap wood and it didn't go so well. So I actually decided that I liked the look of the unfinished wood and so after I took everything apart, I decided that I was just going to sand everything down and leave it as is. I think I sanded all the way to 2000 grit, so it felt super nice on my hands. So once I finished sanding, I put some lemon oil over the fretboard because it was looking pretty dry and I didn't want it to crack or anything. And when I started to finally put everything back together, I thought I was really careful with labeling all the packets with the different screws, but I still got the screws mixed up and I managed to strip one of the screws. And actually, that's the reason why I decided I wasn't going to paint it. And it turns out, I actually didn't have to solder anything at all. Everything was already pre-soldered. My brother was nice enough to give me one of his old soldering kits and I practiced a little, but I didn't even need it. I just had to cut a little bit of the casing to ensure that there would be a better connection. And from that point, I just had to screw everything back in. Sorry for leaving the drill right in front of the screen. And but, you know, I was focused, but apparently not focused enough. I told myself before I started, make sure you don't mix up the strings. And how hard could it be? There's only four strings, and they're obviously very different thicknesses. However, when I was stringing them through the bridge, I guess I mixed them up, <laughs> and I switched the last two strings. So the last string ended up being really short, it was kind of precariously hanging and I was really scared it was going to snap. 
but I figured I could live with that if I wasn't going to paint it. But then I did decide to paint it because after practicing a little bit, the oils from my skin were starting to creep into the wood and that was not a good look. I decided to buy a new set of strings and then I also bought some true oil to protect the neck and the headstock. I just rubbed that in coat by coat. And as you can see here, this is where I stripped the screw and couldn't get it out. Um, despite that, I managed to get everything nice and even. I primed the base. Um, basically, I just stuck the base on that piping and I did one coat on the front, let it dry, did another coat, let that dry for an hour, and then I flipped it to do the other side. Tomorrow I will go ahead and spray on the next layer. I guess I forgot to film it, but I spray painted a couple layers of satin blue, also from Mistolium. And at this point I was playing a lot of Animal Crossing, so I thought it would be really funny if I put a sea bass on my base. I've been letting the base cure for almost a week now, and I mean, I could leave it like this, but I do want to even out some of the places where I do have runs. I don't know if you can see. I've been testing. I think you can see the indentations. So the biggest one in the center there, that's like the day after I finished the gloss and I th think it's been getting shallower I'm not entirely sure but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start to wet sand that and then polish and buff this is before I wet sand it hopefully I can get it off it's a little less raised but I think I made it worse so I'm just gonna go around and do a once over everything so that it's all even and then go ahead and just buff and polish because I don't want to cut through all the clear coat. Now I'm buffing it. It's getting there. Um, you can kind of see the reflection of whatever but it's going to take a while since I'm doing this by hand. <laughs> I think I made it worse than it was originally. I don't know if you can see on the camera. Yeah, I don't know. It's not great, but hey. You win some, you lose some. I learned, and that's okay. So, this is my finished baby. <laughs> It's definitely not factory finished like because I'm a noob at everything I did but I think it turned out really nice. The kit itself was only $140 that's including shipping, handling, and tax and then the extras that I bought like the paint, the polish, the sandpaper, the extra strings I had to get to replace this one that cost another $60 so all in all it cost me $200 and I think I got a pretty sweet base at the end of it all. This was a really fun process that kept me occupied for the beginning of quarantine. Building the base itself took a couple hours over the span of two days and then painting it took a week and a half with all the curing time in between. And yeah, it was really fun. I definitely want to try building something else in the future, maybe an electric guitar or another instrument. Thanks for tuning in and watching me build my P-Bass, the C-Bass. <laughs> I'll catch you on the flip side.